Atletico Madrid bounce back up from a draw against Almera to beat Levante 2-0 in the Copa del Rey. But the big news is that Memphis Depay is close to joining them from Barcelona. Are you a Depay fan? Yeah, well, as we as we tape this, in fact, not just close, apparently he's having medicals. Um, I am a massive Depay fan. I am a huge Depay fan. I think he creates out of nothing. I think he's a really good addition. How is he different from Yao Felix? Well, I think he's more consistent than, okay. than, than Yao Felix. But more importantly... He costs you a lot less, and Joe Felix is gone. Uh, him, and his, him and his attitude are now in West uh, uh, now in West London. Now you have Depay for a team like Atleti, who sometimes struggles to, to to create chances, or rather, when they decide to be defensive, they struggle to create chances. Mm -hmm. Here's a guy who creates out of nothing, so you have that extra body because you know you were down to just three strikers mm -hmm. in, in, in Griezmann, Correa, and, and Morata. Uh, now you have an alternative. He's going to be motivated. And besides, last time you took a guy from uh, uh, from who was unwanted at Barcelona, uh, Luis Suarez, mm -hmm. worked out pretty well for you. Not bad. Chelsea may have spent a bundle on Mikhailo Mudrik and given him a seven and a half year uh, deal with an option for another. But according to the Athletic, his wages are relatively modest, less than a hundred grand a week or around six million dollars a year. Not what you expect for a player who costs seventy million plus uh, uh, thirty million mm. uh, in bonuses. Does this mean Todd Bowley knows what he's doing after all? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, listen, I think the signing's a good one. Um, I'm going to be very interested to see how he fits into that team. Uh, I've watched him so many times, so I know the type of player he is. So I think about his wages. It's, I mean, it's, it's not it, a lot for no, it's relative not, it, to the fee. But it, 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 it's all dependent on where you come from in terms of the fee that you're negotiating from. So I don't know what he was earning at Shakhtar, but let's just say it was 10 grand a week. Might be less. I think 120, probably less, yeah. So, okay. le so less. So all of a sudden you go from 10 grand a week to 100. And it's guaranteed for seven and a half years. And, so and you're, in, you're, in, you're in for about 42 million quid wages. The one thing is, is Mudrik establishes himself, even just as a starter at Chelsea, he's going to come knocking at the door for, for, for a pay rise. There, there, might be, there might be incentives in there. Uh, you never know. Uh, speaking of the Mudrik deal, Gab, are you surprised that Shakhtar are donating 25 million euros uh, of the fee to the Ukraine war effort? Uh... No, I'm not surprised. I mean, I think it's such a political thing. If, if I mean, put very simply, um, Shakhtar's kind of come, become a bit of a symbol in this war. Um, they're actually from Donetsk, although obviously they're you know they, they split their time between Poland mm. and, and the west of Ukraine because yeah. of the war. Uh, is bombs falling in your head, and they speak Russian, and, and <laughs> there's Russian army soldiers where you live. Mm. Of course, you're going to donate to it. I think I think it's an important gesture. I wouldn't be surprised too, and I think UEFA should do this. That that 25 million, given it's a donation, somehow that doesn't factor into their accounts for uh, for financial fair play. It doesn't factor right. in as that makes or, sense. or, or, or so, an, an allowance like that because yeah. I think this is important. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.